it sounds like science fiction, but it's not. Tomorrow morning, the United States spacecraft will fly by the Pluto system and make history. I think this is a great example of a great society and a great nation and what great nations do. And I have to tell you, the data that we're going to produce, in fact, the data that we're already producing, is a gift for the ages to all mankind. The science that we've already made, and if we can show the approach video, um, is already mouthwatering. The Pluto system is enchanting in its strangeness, its alien beauty. It's showing us tremendous diversity between uh, the two planets in the system and their moons. We are already seeing a complex and nuanced um, surfaces that tell us of a history for these two bodies that is probably beyond our wildest dreams on the science team. Pluto has not disappointed. I want to tell you a few things that are new, uh, that, that are just being released now, that we have learned in the last 48 hours. We have discovered that we are already detecting nitrogen escaping from Pluto's atmosphere. And the important part of that is that it was discovered five days ago much farther from Pluto than we anticipated. This may mean that Pluto's escape rate is higher than models had shown, or it may mean that the transport mechanism is different than what we anticipated. We've also discovered that the um, putative polar cap on Pluto's North Pole is in fact just that. We now have compositional spectroscopy that shows uh, methane ice and nitrogen ice there. So we now fingerprint it. It is an icy polar cap after all. Our ultraviolet instrument, ALICE, is seeing the surfaces of both Pluto and Charon. And Dr. Randy Gladstone, who leads our atmospheres team, will have more to say about that in the coming day or so. Um, and we've discovered that Pluto is a little bit larger than we anticipated. We now have good measurements of its diameter and its radius. Its radius is 1,185 kilometers, plus or minus 10. That settles the debate about the largest object in the Kuiper belt. It also has important scientific implications. Because it's larger, and we've known its mass very precisely for a long time, that means it's a little less dense, which will raise the fraction of ice in the interior that modelers um, will need to compensate the rock in the interior. It also means, because it's larger, that the, the troposphere, the lowest layer in the atmosphere, is shallower than some models um, had predicted. Uh, the larger radius has other implications as well, and you'll be hearing about those over the coming days. I'm looking forward to what we're going to be doing. You know, in, in just space of 24 hours, our resolution on the planet is going to jump from around 15 kilometers per pixel to less than 100 meters per pixel. That's more than two orders of magnitude in the coming day. So fasten your seatbelts. New Horizons has arrived at the Pluto system.